All right, we're going to begin here with a warning from health officials in Philadelphia. There are fears, and perhaps you've seen this, of another surge of COVID-19 cases. Cases have been slowly rising over the past few weeks, and it's a good time to take precautions like wearing a mask indoors voluntarily and also getting that vaccine or booster shot if you've not yet done it. Action News reporter Maggie Kent joining us now live in Center City, Philadelphia, with more from a local expert. Maggie, we are seeing these numbers go up rather dramatically. Brian, yes, those case increases here in the city of Philadelphia up about 50%. Right now, we have about 48 hospitalizations in the city of Philadelphia, something that health officials are able to manage. But the city health department saying today, although they are not mandating it, they're suggesting it would be a good idea to wear a mask indoors again. Just when we thought we were all clear, um, the BA2 variant is starting to uh, increase, especially um, in Europe, the BA2 variant is classified in the Omicron family, according to the World Health Organization, and its growth in Europe has local epidemiologists taking notice. Dr. Angela Nicholas of Einstein Montgomery, part of Jefferson Health. It's about 50% um, now of all of the cases in the United States. It's thought to be similar to the Omicron wave we saw in late 2021, early 22. And highly transmissible, less illness, less people in the hospital. Philadelphia cases have increased more than 50% in the last 10 days, with an average of 94 new cases a day. Health officials in Philadelphia are keeping the all clear status, but they're suggesting masking indoors again, not mandating it. In Center City, major companies are navigating the return to the office. You know, I think it's safe to say the five day work week in the office every day is over. Todd Monahan handles office leasing with Wolf Commercial Real Estate. The property managers are saying 25 to 30 percent of the people who typically have an office there are back in every day. I, I expect over the next six months that's going to ramp up to 50 to 75 percent. Now, again, one thing to highlight is those hospitalization numbers again in Philadelphia at 48. And as we spoke to Dr. Nicholas, who works at Einstein Medical Center in Montgomery County, she shared a really positive piece of news with us. She says in the first time since the pandemic started on Friday and both today, they have seen zero hospitalizations of COVID. A really remarkable number that they've been looking forward to. Of course, they are keeping an eye on that BA2 variant. We're live in Center City, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. Okay, Maggie, thank you.